Hey guys, and we're back with more Brave of the Fault. So in the last episode, we took on Jackal the Thief and got the Thief class from him. But it appears that he's only a single cog in the whole grand scheme of things. We have a uh, we have a French man to go question and corner and party chat. Is something the matter, Tiz? No, just I was thinking about Narendra. I mean, what's the most efficient way to rebuild? Do you think? Most efficient? Right. Once we recruit people to help, how do I go about delegating work to them? Hmm. I haven't got a head up for numbers. <laughs> me neither. How about you, Ringabel? Not much, I'm afraid. I don't even know how many girlfriends I have right now. Oh. I've been beating my head against the wall thinking who to date in what order. Perhaps you're not hitting the wall hard enough. I'd be happy to help. I suppose we all really need a simple division. There are three buildings which each take three days to build. If I have three people, two a lot, then assigning one person per building will take three days for all of them. Or I put all three on one and build it in one day. That's still three days to build all three. Wait, so there's no difference? Then why bother worrying about it? Isn't the same though. In the latter case, you have to use the first building after one day, and the second after the second. It's a small difference, but different still. Assigning all three to each project earns the quickest gains, and may be the most efficient. Hey, you're right. Oh, Narendra chats. So many Narendra chats. Some businesses in the Rende say they'll send us gifts when they build. Ooh, presents? Yay! Ah, yes. Gifts are strategically important. So, which businesses are they? What do we build? The item shop, the combat item shop, and the compound shop. I see. And when will we get these presents? I expect they'll send them to us at regular intervals. Hee, I can't wait. What do you think we'll get? I imagine there'll be merchandise that each representative store stocks. When giving a gift to a lady, careful selection is key. My personal advice is to choose an article she'll wear every day. That way, she'll be forced to think of you all around the clock. Hmm? Where did everyone go? Oh, ring a bell. Okay, so we have some minor business to take care of before we leave this dungeon, one of which being the, uh, the monsters. So I'm just gonna put this on auto then. Oh, that's right. I uh, I've been doing some job grinding just off camera because, well, coffee breaks and whatnot. So I forgot I had a uh, spear equipped to Anya's for some reason. Also, I kind of forgot that uh, I turned the encounter rate way, way up. Let's put that back down. And let's uh, while we're here. I actually want to flip Anya's over into a white mage, simply because there's some abilities that she can get in the later levels that I really want. And at this point in the game, there it's it would be way too difficult to grind them. But since we have some boss fights coming up in the uh, in the immediate future, we'll be able to get job points from that. So let's change the equipment. So first, let's give you. Do I not have any staffs? Seriously? Okay, I'll give you the mithril rods for now then. Me throw rod, where are you? There we go. And you need to have your me throw rods back on. Yeah, I've like all my all my equipment is like all over the place. Jeez. There we go. That's better. I'll put the uh, me throw rod just on them for now, and we'll get a uh, proper. Oh, it's the blue chest. That's right. That's why this is here. Well, teleport stone then. Let's just get on out of here. Should be near the bottom if I remember correctly. Wait, another party chat? Yeah, there's another one. Hey, Tiz. Can you tell me a little more about Nurende's special move shop? Huh? Oh, sure. 
So there's a base special move shop for each different weapon type. Oh, it's by weapon type? Great, so you might want to try out a bunch of different weapons and see what works. And you can show oh, and you can shout whatever line you want when performing them. Hehe, <laughs> I'll have to think of something really amazing then. This one will blow your last. It's a personal favorite of mine. Yes, that's quite imposing. Yeah, but then what if they survive it? Don't you look like an idiot? Hmm. Then what about this will probably defeat you, maybe. Hmm. That's not really much better. And that is worse. Perhaps just gosh, it would be great if this defeats you. Not much of a battle cry, is it? Prepare for mild to severe discomfort, maybe? Oh, that sounds like a uh, that sounds like something you would read off I guess diarrhea medicine, I don't know. These are all terrible. Oh, but I actually wanted to, uh, for idea, I really wanted her battle cry to be... It, it's not like it was for your sake or anything like that. Just go complete Syndra mode with her. But there wasn't enough space. Okay, let's go uh, pop by the item shop really quick and we'll heal as well. So I would like to get a proper staff on Anyas if at all possible. I guess Warren I had one though. Maybe not. Let's see. What do they have in stock? Uh, let's see, there's 25 more attack. Oh. That's not bad. So, but it drops her magic like incredibly low. Guess I won't bother then. Just go with the, um. Go with the rods. Ah, I got my way. These people in the street, man. Okay, what do we also have with our abilities right now? So let's see, Anyas, you currently have a big fire. Let's get rid of that. We're not going to be needing that at all, so let's go switch to damage dispersion. And uh, why not? We'll put on Sans Immunity. Tis. Let's put damage dispersion on you as well. You can keep Dungeon Master for the time being. Ring a bell, damage dispersion, and a dia. I'm gonna put, let's see, shield lore, two handed. Throw damage dispersion on her, and. Oh, I don't know. <coughs> let's go with, um. Magic defense up. And, uh, let's go. What am I doing here? There we go. That's what I want. This should work. And, uh, we'll put Tiz back on the front as well. Physical attackers on the outside. Physical attackers on the outside. Looks like we're good to go. Responsibility, eh? You failed to protect your investments. You! We are the contract, my friend. The provisions for loss and damages were clearly written in the fine prints. Even so, I can't be made to pay for the damages when I've just had all my possessions stolen. I'll be out on the streets. This is not my concern. You will pay. Or, oh, if you prefer, I can be asking your wife for this money. Your daughter? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, please! Leave my family out of this! That's enough! Hmm? Why are you here? Eavesdropping, are you? Sir? You don't owe this rotten band of fraudulent crooks a single peek. You are free to be on your way. 
<laughs> I feel this joke is not funny. I have business with this gentleman. We have no time for baseless accusations. Then what of accusations with concrete proof? Oh? And just what is that, eh? Huh? A little souvenir snatched from the lair of the thieves prowling the oasis of late. It bears your signature, Chairman, as well as your orders to attack any citizens approaching the oasis. What? Then when they... And you were planning to rob me now a second time! Ah, oh, this day. No luck at all. I suppose this is a result of trusting that useless urchin to perform a simple task. Then you don't deny it? Release the city's wells to the public, then. Immediately! I beg your pardon? Just who are you to be issuing the orders, girl? As I told you before, this is a business. If you are too poor, this is your problem. Stupid enough to be tricked, your problem. Don't like it? Go earn some money, eh? Money, money, money. These are human lives. Oh, this is useless. I'm shutting you down right now. <laughs> we will be seeing about that. Sigma Kint, I have work for you. Paying work, I assume. You, from the thieves' den. You'd help this crook? Provided his pockets are heavier than yours, yes. I care nothing past that. Irutus Profitur, Merchant of Death. Do we have an agreement? But of course! And I'm feeling generous today. Kill them all, and I'll throw in a bonus! Contract established. You'll have your money's worth. E Profiteur, your asterisk is mine. Also, it's like, no thing I'm noticing here. Originally, I had this on auto, and for the boss fight, the auto's been turned off. That's actually a really nice touch that they turned it off automatically for you for boss fights, because what if I wasn't paying attention and I just go jumping straight into just physical attacks? That's actually awesome. Okay, so, Tiz, let us have you do a quick examine on the chairman, and then I'm just gonna have everyone else default. So 8,000 HP, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's see, he has access to silence, but that, uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, just like the thief battle, the... What is it? What is the uh, name? The mercenary kind? He will run away once the other person's HP is down to half. So our main focus here is to attack the chairman. So Tiz, I'm actually going to have you drop a Qigong wave on the chairman. And I'm going to have everyone default, and let's see uh, how much damage they're doing to us. <sighs> yeah, I just threw money at us. Okay, so the other thing that the chairman can do is that he has the attack called Takeover. And this attack will always hit for 300, and he does it twice. However, if you have, if you have damage dispersal, eh, if you have damage dispersion on hand, then it will just split it between the rest of your party members. So it's super useful to have. So let's see, Tiz, I'm going to have you do another Keygon wave on the chairman, and we're going to default with everyone else. Now the reason I'm going for the Kamehameha here is so that it has the ability to ignore default for damage reduction. So I'm going to default with Tiz for the time being, and I'm expecting the chairman to attack me this turn. So I'm going to have everyone brave, Anya's I'm going to draw- oh shoot. I forgot to, to uh, put the black magic back on. Oh well. We'll just use arrows then. Man, I'm making like all sorts of just random mistakes today. So Rainbow Bell will have you drop some black magic on the chairman. Set him on fire, because he's a liar. Set his pants on fire. Idea, I'm gonna have you... Let's see, let's do a couple shield strikes. Followed by a stomp. Well, by another stomp. Let's go. 300. Another 300. 
Okay, he's not gonna last that long. I'm actually really glad that the White Mage has at least some kind of magic attack. It would suck not being able to do anything with Anyas. Take over? Yeah, this is even much of a threat. Let's see, then we'll have uh, Tiz unleash his special. Moonbeam on the Chairman, followed by another Kigong Wave, and we'll default with everyone else. It's all or nothing. Ooh, nice crit! Our agreement ends here. This is what your money buys. What? I've paid your small fortune! Any further, and I'll be placing my life on the line. That bears a surcharge of 51.2 billion pig. That's not a surcharge! It's a national budget! You're mad! Then this is farewell. Best of luck. This... this is fraud! I'll see you about it for this! See ya! Oh, but jeez! 51.2 billion P. That's way too much. Okay, let's see. Anyas, let's have you do some braving. And uh, let's have you do an arrow, arrow. And uh, if you could just heal us up, that'd be great. And let's see, we'll have Rainbow drop some fire magic. And uh, let's do a uh, cure. We're starting to run a little bit low on HP. Idea, let's have you shield strike, followed by stomp. Followed by another stomp. Let's see, he should be almost done by now, right? Yeah, 1000 HP. He's almost done. So, uh, why don't we, let's just go for an overbrave and finish this man off. So, Kigong Wave, Kigong Wave, Kigong Wave. Let's have Anyas drop her special piercing bolt, followed by White Magic. Let's have him, uh, let's have Ring Bolt drop his special too, because why not? Set this man ablaze. And Idea will have you just uh, stomp on his face. He deserves it. So much damage with the Kigong wave. Money, all my money, my. Uh. Huh. I think we just killed a man. If anybody asks, Ring about did it. Yes, quite. Which, what? And we got the Merchant Asterix. So the Merchant. Good at both saving and spending money. Attacks and supports using wealth. Favors staves and daggers. of one crime after the next. I can only pray this will make life here a bit less difficult. At the risk of repeating myself, you'll want to have a look at this. Notice of change in location for periodic reports regarding the ongoing water price fixing operation. Approach the door at the Grand Mill Works Rear at precisely three at all three hundred hours. Ensure that you're not followed. No signature this time. A memo of profiteurs, perhaps? Whatever it is, it stinks. The merchantry might not be the only snakes involved in this scheme. 
It bears checking. Well, let's have a look for ourselves at the mill tonight. Oh, yes, indeed. That has suspicion brand all over it. What's over here? Teleport stone. Neat. Kind of makes you wonder why he didn't use it when we uh, came in your attack. Maybe he could have run away and maybe spared himself his life, but I guess not. So, in the next episode, we find out the truth behind the Grand Mill. So, until next time, thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you're having a fantastic day.